Hey YouTube, Wes here checking in with another unboxing of the records I had in storage for a long time. Let's just say that. These records uh, were in storage in the past couple houses we were renting. I had to sort of keep things in storage, just didn't have the space to keep them, but didn't want to get rid of them, so had them in storage. Finally getting these unboxed now that we have a, a permanent home and I've been enjoying opening these boxes and with the current events we're going through right now uh, around the world not going to be able to go out and do you know do any digging or anything so I thought you know it's time to continue on with this process of unboxing these records and enjoy digging in some of my old finds from many many years ago uh, maybe do one of these a month. I have three of these boxes left to open up that have been, I haven't seen in, in many, many years, as I said. Uh, so yeah, we're probably gonna do one of these a month for the next few months uh, while we're not able to go out and hit up the, hit up the stores. So uh, here we are, box number 14. I uh, don't have a count on this one, so but these usually work out to around 100, 100 uh, records in each box. Uh, so we're going to get box number 14 opened up and see what's inside and see what I see what I stored away all those years ago. So check it out, follow along, hope you're all doing well. Yeah, it's kind of kind of crazy to I'll just talk about this a little bit. Just it's on my mind. I need to I need to let it out a bit. So bear with me. It's a lot going on in the world now. Um, I just this morning decided that I wanted to take a few weeks off of work and just stay at home and kind of try to ride this one out and and try to stay healthy. And so yeah, decided to take two weeks off from work. Uh, that's I have never had more than a week off from work since 1993 when I got my first job so it's yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that I've been wanting to take an extended period of time I'd really like to take like six months off from work and just really uh, follow some of my passions more and put put my heart into uh, doing some other things and unfortunately that that's just not something I can do right now um, but it's nice to be able to take a couple, at least two weeks off. It may may end up being extended. Um, it's kind of up in the air right now, but uh, I'm going to enjoy this time. I'm going to you know stay home, uh, do some organizing, do a lot of listening to my collection or my listening to a lot of the stuff that I've bought in the past that I haven't had a chance to listen to yet. I'm going to get to get to listening to a lot of that and do some organization. I'll be making a lot of videos, so probably be doing at least two videos a week starting in the next coming weeks. Uh, get, get some more videos flowing for you guys and, and uh, hopefully hopefully work on the channel some. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting, but yeah. Uh, hopefully I can I can do my part here to keep your mind off things by keeping my mind off things and, and enjoying my collection and enjoying what I have already instead of going out and trying to find more. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into this box. Enough rambling about that. Uh, so off the top here, uh, I got some Yacht Rock here, Pablo Cruz, uh, part of the game. And that says that was VCLT from Grown Man Record Night as was this Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy, Elton John, my favorite Elton John album. This has the uh, great track on here, uh, Better Off Dead, awesome Elton John track, it was a solid album from him. Uh, Lisa, Lisa and Cult Jam, I Wonder If You Take Me Home, 12 inch single. Uh, the Honey Drippers, Volume 1. Uh, here is a classic, classic one here. Uh, Carlos Santana and John McLaughlin love devotion to love devotion surrender. Uh, yeah, definitely. If you see this out in the wild, dollar bin, thrift store, grab it. This is awesome. Um, and this was some library music I picked up at one point uh, at the at the library sale of all things, but not that kind of library music. This is music you know that you use for commercials or documentaries or anything you needed to have you know background music for. Uh, this is Don Vogel with um, 
oscillations one, two, three, and four. So I'm guessing this is uh, synthesizer stuff. I haven't had the chance to listen to it, but yeah, I'm looking forward to looking forward to digging into that at some point. And that was a cool pickup. Here's a cool one: 12-inch single to "I Want Your Sex" by George Michael. Didn't remember finding that one. And one on ECM Records here. Uh, this is John Taylor, Norman Winstone, and Kenny Wheeler with Azimuth. Uh, so yeah, there was a there was a time when I would pick up anything and everything I found on ECM. So they're usually pretty good, and uh, we'll we'll check this one out at some point. Uh, here's one of those Warner Brothers Lost Leaders. Sometimes you'll you'll see uh, on an inner sleeve, you know, two dollar records. Uh, they're they're comp two LP compilations that that you, they used to put out. Uh, this is one of them, Songbook, 1969 Warner Rapai Songbook. Uh, so you get you get all you get some great mixes on here, and you got like Van Dyke Parks, Randy Newman, Joni Mitchell, Arlo Guthrie, Everly Brothers, Sweetwater, Eric Anderson. Family, Van Morrison, The Kinks, The Electric Prunes, Tiny Tim, Pentangle, Neil Young, Jethro Tull, Jimi Hendrix is on here. They had some really great artists on these, and these are really cool. Sometimes Some of these tracks can be uh, rare tracks, too. So pretty cool to check out if you see these compilations out in the wild. Uh, definitely, definitely worth looking into. And they always have these printed... Uh, printed liner notes so you learn more about each artist that's on here and it tells you, you know, of course it gives you the the full length albums that they have out so that's pretty neat definitely enjoyed collecting those um, here's another one called hard goods uh, yeah, this is another warner brothers one um, yeah, I mean frank zappa todd rundgren deep purple fog hat ted nugent Doobie Brothers, uh, Osabisa, uh, Greg Allman, Neil Young, Crazy with Graham Nash, um, Beach Boys, Robin Trower, bunch of bunch of great artists. Again on this, I must have bought a bunch of these all at once. This is probably no. This is not another one. This is Lee Michaels with Barrel. Gordon Lightfoot, Sit Down Young Stranger, which eventually got renamed to If You Could Read My Mind, but the original release was called Sit Down Young Stranger. So that's, a, that's an original pressing of that. Knew I had one of those somewhere. Those are always neat to find. Uh, Harry Belafonte and Nana Muscuri, An Evening with Belafonte and Muscuri. Uh, Arlo Guthrie's Running Down the Road. Coming into Los Angeles, I guess was the best, best known hit on here. But yeah, ah, this is pretty cool. Uh, Stomu Yamashita, uh, Steve Winwood, Klaus Schulz, Michael Shreve, and Al Di Miola live from Paris. Uh, so just some great fusion and electronic artists on here. Should be should be a pretty cool one to dig into at some point. Nice two LP set there. A uh, copy of War: The World Is a Ghetto, classic album of theirs. Uh, Dollar Brand with Cape Town Fringe. As of now, I've not really given a serious listen to anything by Dollar Brand, so I'm looking forward to that. I think. Uh, Tony, Mr. Fartboy, used to used to be really big into him. Uh, here's a cool one: OMD's Dazzle Ships. Another one from the o OMD collection. And Tangerine Dreams Exit. Mm, 1981 Tangerine Dream album. Very nice. And then Tangerine Dream Optical Race. Don't see a year on this one, but it looks like mid 80s at some point. And Tangerine Dream Lily on the Beach. And one of my local record shops got in a whole collection that had a lot of cool electronic stuff in it and lots of Tangerine Dream. So I ended up picking up all these on one day. Uh, so yeah, it was 
pretty cool. This one is from, again, with no year. Oh, 1989. So getting very late on that one. Um, and nothing at all like Tangerine Dream here. We have Amy Grant, a Christmas album. Of course, that's a classic one. Uh, Pat Benatar, In the Heat of the Night. And a German pressing of Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues. Rather than getting that bar across the top, you get the whole artwork, which is pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I got Queen Live Killers album. Nice two LP live set from them. Dude, I did pick this up on CD as well at some point along the way. Redbone message from a drum. I got Donovan Cosmic Wheels. Blue Oyster Cult, self-titled, of course, with their big hit, Cities on Flame with Rock and Roll. Um, really nice, clean copy of this. Actually, this is an upgrade copy. Um, I, had a, I had another one that was pretty rough shape, so wanted definitely love the album. Wanted to get a nice copy, and here it is. Uh, here's a nice synth-pop 12-inch from Frankie Goes to Hollywood for Rage On. Uh, this also has a cover of Suffragette City, which I didn't know they did a cover of that, so that'll be interesting to dig uh, dig into and check out. And uh, don't lose what's left of your little mind. So yeah, nice cool 12 inch from uh, Frankie Goes to Hollywood. What was this from? 1986. Uh, Thomas Dolby, Blinded by Science EP. Nice find there. Uh, John McLaughlin, Extrapolation. Awesome stuff there. John Lennon, Rock and Roll. Uh, soundtrack to When the Wind Blows. Animated movie, but it's got uh, Roger Waters, David Bowie, uh, Genesis, Squeeze, Paul Hardcastle, a bunch of killer killer artist doing songs for this movie so looking forward to hearing that at some point I have not seen this movie before uh, but yeah uh, another one from Redbone this is our album Potlatch a copy of Dave Mason's Alone Together but this is not the marble vinyl version this is just a standard black pressing This is John McLaughlin with My Goals Beyond. Mahavishnu John McLaughlin at this point. Walter Carlos or Wendy Carlos is A Clockwork Orange. This is the music that was uh, she made for A Clockwork Orange that didn't end up getting in getting used. Uh, so she put it in, put out an album of the of the songs here. Very cool. I believe that's a story anyway, is that they didn't really use much of what what she did. So uh, here's a cool one. Soundtrack to Blade Runner. I believe this was pretty collectible at one point, but it has been reissued since. So not as collectible. Still cool. An original, uh, original uh, soundtrack to Blade Runner. And I'm going to pause and dig the rest of these out of this box as I'm this box is sitting on a very sort of wobbly table and I'm worried about it tipping over at some point so I'm just going to take these out of the box and stack them up here on the table so it'll be a little bit more stable so be back in a second okay and I'm back um, da 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 trio with da 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 um, looks like an EP six six track EP our specially priced mini LP, it says right there. Soundtrack to An American Tale. The original. That's a pretty cool one. Definitely a much loved movie from my childhood. Soundtrack to Breakin. That's a classic. 
the Joan Baez Ballad Book. Nice one there. Nice comp for Joan Baez. Uh, Tanya Tucker, here's some love. Uh, 1976. Yeah. Pretty cool. Foreigners 4. Here's a cool one. Charlie Daniels Band, A Decade of Hits, which you find a lot of Charlie Daniels Band albums in the wild, but not this greatest hits one. So that was a pretty cool find. A lot of great, of course, it's greatest hits. So you got Devil Went Down to Georgia, Stroker's Theme, Let It Roll in America, Still in Saigon. A lot of great stuff on there. Here is an American pressing of Days of Future Past by the Moody Blues. It's funny, I was just listening to Seventh Sojourn just a, just a few minutes before I started sitting down to make videos here. So I've been listening to some Moody Blues today. Um, here is something looks like it's electronic. I'm not sure. Uh, Patrick O'Hearn, Between Worlds, 1987. And here's another one from Patrick O'Hearn, uh, Ancient Dreams. I'm guessing this guy's a drummer. It's uh, The World Within by Styx Hooper. And yeah, looks like, look like, looks like he's a drummer. Not familiar with him, but uh, neat, neat die cut cover here. So, uh, interesting one. Looks like I picked these up for a buck somewhere. Uh, here's a cool one from Synergy uh, Metropolitan Suite. Uh, Deep Purple with the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra, conducted by Malcolm, Al Malcolm Arnold. And I just realized I just recently watched a, an Opus DVD and they they totally ripped off this cover for their dvd i'll try to put a i'll try to put an annotation of the dvd cover here in the on the screen so you can see it in case you're not familiar with it but yeah that's pretty funny i mean i'm sure they did it on purpose but uh, yeah that's pretty cool just realized that oh yeah that's nice blondie self-titled Harry Chapin with Verites and Balderdash. Platinum by Mike Oldfield. Later one from Mike Oldfield here. Uh, Timmy Thomas, Why Can't We Live Together. Of course it has this hit song, Why Can't We Live Together, on it. Uh, the Doors, The Soft Parade. Not much needs to be said about that one. Uh, here's one I come across a lot, compilation from Columbia, Columbia House, yeah, Columbia House, 20 monster hits. I'm wondering if maybe they sent this out to all their members at some point, kind of as a promotional thing. Uh, yeah, just a compilation of mid-70s stuff, 72, early 70s, I guess. Uriah Heaps, look at yourself. Yeah, look, at, look at yourself. Did you see yourself? Probably not. Uh, Norman Greenbaum's Spirit in the Sky, the title track, <laughs> very well-known well known song on classic rock radio. Uh, Jimmy Owen and the Drifting Cowboys, a salute to Hank Williams, a song for us all. Uh, yeah. Nice Hank Williams tribute album there. Joe Jackson's Night and Day, classic of his. And we got Paul Butterfield, Put It In Your Ear. And we got Michelle Legrand at Shelley's Manhole. Also kind of a manhole cover styled cover there. Yeah, I, just, I couldn't resist because of the cover on this one. Michelle Legrand is a pianist, I think. Uh, here's an album by Rasa, Everything You See Is Me. I don't know nothing at all about this. Um, it's still sealed. This, the shrink wrap is falling apart, but it has not been opened as of yet. Uh, uh, something on the Folk Legacy label. This is Tom Brandon, uh, The Rambling Irishman. 
Charles Lloyd, Moon Man. Really cool artwork on that one, so look forward to getting into that one at some point. Um, it's a beautiful day with Marrying Maiden. E.T. storybook record kind of thing. Uh, E.T. the extraterrestrial Steven Spielberg film. Uh, it's in this. It's in this box here. Uh, it has this booklet. There's Michael with E.T. Pretty cool stuff there. Uh, Harry Belafonte, Belafonte on campus. Uh, Flock of Seagulls, Dream Come True. Synth pop there. Tangerine Dream with Ricochet. And a group on Wyndham Hill titled Interior. Just looked interesting. There's a group on the back. kind of Look kind of interesting to me. Let's see here. Hopefully you could see that. Uh, Steve Winwood compilation, I guess, here, just titled Winwood, two LPs. United Artists, Gatefold. Uh, Leo Kotke with Mudlark. Uh, Steve Miller Band's Brave New World. Really neat one there. Elvis Costello in the attractions, Punch the Clock. Do not remember having this one. Pretty cool. And Elvis Costello in the attractions. Goodbye, Cruel World. Pretty cool. Elvis Costello taking liberties. I think I finally figured out what the title of this one is. Elvis Costello in the attractions. Imperial Bedroom, I believe, is the title of this one. Apparently two copies of the soundtrack to American Gigolo, so I'm good to go with that one. Uh, comedian Woody Woodbury, this is his album Salunatics. Do have a couple of these already? I think I have. I think I have all three of these already. So this might be just the one, the one I don't have. Uh, Tommy James, Christian of the World. Soundtrack to Vision Quest. Uh, the Grassroots, Golden Grass, their greatest hits. Uh, Columbia Masterworks, uh, Gustav Holtz, The Planets. Uh, some modern hip hop here. We got Silk the, Sh Silk the Shocker with Based on a True Story. Uh, 2004 is the year on that one. Uh, part of the Giants of Jazz collection from Time Life. This is Pee Wee Russell. Still sealed. And I'm guessing this is self-titled by the group Fanny Hill. All-girl rock group. Pretty cool. And the album by Brooklyn Bridge on Buddha Records. Johnny Cash at San Quentin. Classic there. Uh, Bop B by Keith Jarrett. Josh White, Chain Gang Songs. Do enjoy Josh White. Uh, oh, Happy Is by the Sunshine Company. Walter Carlos, the well-tempered synthesizer. Emmett Rhodes, self-titled. This is actually a promo copy of it. And last but not least, Spirit with the family that plays together. Uh, so thank you for watching my unboxing of box number 14. Hope you enjoyed the show. As I said, we'll try to do these once a month from now on and spread these next, I got two more boxes to go. We'll spread those out over the next couple months while I'm not able to do any digging. Um, yeah, hopefully hopefully by then things will starting be starting to look, look up and we'll be able to get out and, and 
do some more digging. So thank you for watching. Have a great day, great night. Um, enjoy, enjoy your records. Enjoy your music. Remember, there is no bad music, only music you don't like. Stay safe. Be well. Cheers.